And concerns in the meat and poultry industry as a number of food processing plants nationwide are struggling amid the pandemic. Our Angelica Leilani joining us live in Fresno outside Cargill, where an employee there has tested positive for the virus. Angelica. Yes, the company confirmed with us this morning that an employee tested positive for COVID-19. They say that that employee is receiving medical treatment. Now, as of right now, the cargo is still open, and they say that they are taking the necessary precautions. Cargill, a food processing company, is among the latest in the Central Valley to confirm an employee tested positive for COVID-19, but they're remaining open. In a statement released this morning, Cargill's spokesperson says, our focus is protecting the health of our employees and preventing the spread of the virus. Cargill is working closely with local health officials to ensure appropriate prevention, testing, cleaning, and quarantine protocols are followed within our facility, but other food processing plants are shutting down. In Kentucky, at Tyson Foods, production came to a halt after dozens of employees tested positive. Here in the Valley, Reese Foods confirmed on Tuesday they temporarily closed several production lines in its Dinuba and Tulare facilities to keep employees safe as several have tested positive. They released a statement saying, despite our focused efforts to keep our team members safe, a high incident of community spread has resulted in our decision to temporarily halt production. The closure is leaving many to wonder how the meat and poultry industry will move forward. Since the beginning, we've been concerned about COVID spreading throughout the agricultural community. We are operating because of the essential nature of what we do here. And now to see these uh, recent episodes here locally is of concern. Ryan Jacobson, CEO of the Fresno County Farm Bureau, says harvest season for animals is time sensitive. You're talking about a very short window where these animals can be processed. So here locally, we are, I think there's been a lot of extra precautions taken just trying to make sure that we stay on the front side of this. Jacobson does not believe we'll see a shortage anytime soon. I do expect that nationwide there may be some temporary blimps, but overall, I think we should see it fairly strong. And health and food experts I spoke with say that the uh, food is still perfectly safe to consume, that there has been no reports from the CDC or the FDA to state otherwise. Now, Jacobson says that the next crops that they're looking at within the ag industry are fruits and vegetables. They say that they're about three weeks out from the beginning of that season. They say that they are taking the necessary precautions to get ahead of COVID-19. And for more information, we'll have that on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Reporting live in Fresno, I'm Angelica Leilani, KC24 Local News. That matters. Angelica, thank you.